uh, the pressures uh, are um, internally for myself is, am I doing enough? I'm constantly like, am I doing enough stuff? Um, not like tasks, just like, is it working? Am I doing enough to put it out there? Um, so that, that's the challenge, I think. Um, and like I like mentioned, you have so many ideas. And you, you, I think that's the thing that you have to like realize is um, you have to prioritize those, those, all those ideas and not let them overwhelm you. Cause I sure. think what can happen is you're like, I don't even know where to start because I've got all these ideas, especially when the, in the marketing space of mm-hmm. creating and things that you want to accomplish and you have to really assess, is it worth it? Or is it something that we need to put off a couple of months? So that's what I've learned with the marketing with sales. Um, I think the challenge is, um, I don't know. There's not really a challenge with that. Cause it's just, you know, you have your flow, you, you reach out, you call, you talk to people, you have meetings. And, and, um, I think the challenge is really just, um, because everyone's busy and you want yeah. to you have to get their attention. And, and, you know, for me, it's like, I'm so important. I need you to talk to me, but yeah. for them, they've got, <laughs> yeah. hello, everybody. Here's a quick word for you all. We know electric vehicles are increasing around the nation, actually around the world. The question we ask ourselves is, are we to fear the EV adoption and what it'll do to fixed operations? So we decided not to speculate, but to gather real data to see how electric vehicles will affect and change fixed operations in the future. Our service department's going to remain the profit center in the future. Find out at NADA 2023 in our workshop how electric vehicles will change fixed operations. We look forward to seeing you there.